How's it going everybody? My name is Brandon Kelly, also known as the Boss of Bitcoin. Uh, I wanted to first thank Cointelegraph for the opportunity to speak with your community. I think it's an amazing network you guys created of resources, knowledge, and content, you know, almost as an open source incubator uh, to onboard the masses into the blockchain and to cryptocurrency. So thank you for that. And uh, thank you for this opportunity as well. Uh, what I wanted to uh, speak to you guys about is really about the power of positivity. You know, all too often we get, you know, this disgruntled and discouraged when you know the market takes a big hit and you know we see Bitcoin go from twenty thousand down to eight thousand is it gonna go to five who knows you know uh, that's really not what's important what's important is that regardless of that what number on the screen you know Bitcoin shows to the dollar is that we retain a positive state of mind I can't stress to you how important that is uh, it's been re-emphasized all the way through history from Yogi Berra to James Allen Napoleon Hill even dating back to the Bible uh, as a mind believes the world receives um, one might even take this to say, as a man thinketh, so he becomes. Um, and, and it's very important that in building this new uh, age, we remain in the right state of mind. Uh, many uh, professional you know, experts have referred to the blockchain as the fourth industrial revolution. We are indeed rebuilding our society from the inside out through this digital device right here. What does that mean? What does that feel like? Uh, it's very turbulent. It's very destructive by design, right? Uh, but know that we will be much better on the other side of that bridge than we are today on this side, uh, in so much that there are entire industries that are being recreated right now on the blockchain. And it's not just limited to financial industries. There's you know digital rights, there's crowdfunding, healthcare, real estate, voting, governance, you know, a plethora of business models being created right now every day, you know, migrating over to the blockchain. So while it may feel very turbulent, you know, uh, I think it's it's of great necessity that we re refrain from being distracted and discouraged and we embrace the opportunity and the optimism of the moment. Um, I think a lot of people expect Bitcoin to do great things, but not too many people expect, you know, to endure what it takes to be great. Right. And, and uh, going to Cointelegraph, some of the predictions that their analysts have made from Cliff High to Roger Ver and, you know, uh, John McAfee uh, and his infamous uh, rants on Twitter. You know, a lot of people expect a lot of things for Bitcoin. What will happen is yet to be seen. Um, but, you know, I for one think that we will uh, come pretty close to $100,000 this year and, and uh, cryptocurrency will definitely break $1 trillion this year. Uh, so what I want you all to do, if you're willing, you know, is, is join a few of the communities that we've set up uh, in this digital space to uh, empower each other. That's all what I'm about is creating value for the people and delivering it to the people free of charge. This is done in the number one Bitcoin group in the world. Uh, you just type it in on Facebook.com, hashtag one Bitcoin, and we have over 20,000 members uh, sharing charts, insight, trades, tricks, tips, to tutorials, you know, and just getting set up uh, with crypto trading and, and making some money in the cryptoverse. One of the things I've been able to do is develop a uh, first the world harmonic statistical forecasting method, uh, simplified as the boss method. Um, it uses sacred geometry, a little bit of knowledge and uh, some, some vector mechanics in there. But at the end of the day, it helps the people make a lot of money. Um, and hopefully you're able to do that. I think the more that we as a people have, the less we we need, the less we want, the less we have to argue over things that essentially don't matter. And I think that's what the blockchain is designed to do is bring people together, not divide people apart. You know, a lot of times I compare it uh, to that great red bridge behind me in a sense that, you know, everyone, the entire world lives on this side of the bridge right now. And that side of the bridge is anchored in the US dollar. It's been here since the day we were born. You know, it didn't matter if you were going down to the car lot to buy a new car or going down to the grocery store uh, to pick up a bag of bread. You paid in dollars. Well, now the blockchain has created a method or a protocol to get to a new method 
of payment, a new vehicle uh, to transfer that value. Um, and it's really changing the way the world thinks of distribution systems, of infrastructure, of facilitation. No longer is it top down, now it's bottom up um, in so much to where the strength of the network itself uh, is encompassed in how many people have verified and use thus said network. It's really an amazing innovation to humanity. Um, so again, one of the things I think we have is the opportunity to come together to understand this new technology, to learn together. Click through some of those videos, you know, on, on Cointelegraph. I know they have the cool thumbnails on every single one. I check them out every day. Uh, but really read the words, really start to understand what's happening. And it's a lot more than Bitcoin 5,000 or Bitcoin 19,000. It's literally rebuilding society through a digital interface. Um, and in addition to that, I think just as that bridge was once a dream that an engineer had, that engineer, you know, believed in a vision. He conceived it. He built it. He achieved it. Now we as a people get to receive it. You know, and, and that's what the opportunity is with the blockchain as well. Um, it doesn't matter if Bitcoin is $5,000 or $55,000, the opportunity is still the same. And that is to make the world better one transformation and confirmation at a time. With that being said, guys, thank you again for the time. I look forward to many more of these dialogues. Thank you to Cointelegraph as well. Uh, and make sure you check out the resources we have for you at bossofbitcoin.com in addition to the number one Facebook group in the world. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you later. Till we meet again, stay cryptic, y'all. Peace.